Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to share my summer night routine with you. Things have changed a lot. We are back in the office three days a week and I thought we were busy before we launched Love Sweat Fitness Nutrition, but things have gotten crazy. We're hiring a bunch, adding new people on our team, which is so exciting, but it has been a little chaotic. So Ryan and I have been trying to like slow down and take time to disconnect because we spend probably like 16 hours a day on our computer. So at least one day a week, we've been trying to go down to the beach and go for a beach walk after work. It's really close to our office and it just is a great time for us to just connect with one another, have that time together, get outside in nature and really just relax our minds. Um, it's been really, really good for us. And obviously in summer, it's so nice out right now in California. So we're just soaking it up. After our walk, we usually will just walk for like 20 minutes or something. It's not like a workout. It really is just to go and relax. Then we'll head home and I'm doing summer shape up right now. So I've been splitting up my workouts, doing my full Love Swift Fitness app workout in the morning and then doing my daily 10 and my bonus move in the afternoon. So those are the free workouts you can get in the app anytime. So in the afternoon today, I had my booty moves for my daily 10 and then my app bonus move. And these were a little bit harder, especially after doing my full workout this morning. So I spent some time warming up and just stretching out my body. The great thing is though, they only take like 10 minutes, literally 10 to 15 minutes max. And I really have noticed a huge difference in my body, like tightening up and toning, adding in just that little bit of extra work every single day. And since I have been doubling up on my workouts with those bonus moves and daily 10 during summer shape up, I've been trying to take a bath once a week. I used to take them all the time and I kind of got out of the habit of it, but I've been back in just once a week, usually on my leg and booty day, which today was, and using these nectar bath treats. They smell so good um, and they're plant-based and it just makes your whole bath experience so much nicer. So the smell is this fruit smoothie and it's like they're the nectar bath treats like signature scent. They have other scents too, but this one is like, I don't know how to describe it. Just like takes you back to like, I feel like I'm like my 12 year old self. It smells so good. And then this is like the strawberry vanilla waffle bath bomb. And the cool thing about this is it has like sweet almond oil, which is really great for obviously like hydrating your skin, but it also has Epsom salt, which is really good for relaxing your muscles. And then I'll use this scrub. So this has like cranberry seeds that help exfoliate and then sweet almond oil again and shea butter to really moisturize. So I always exfoliate in the bath because it just makes it easier, especially on nights that I'm gonna be doing any type of self tanning. But about once a week, I'll do that. And then this is the body butter in lavender. You guys, you know I have dry skin. It is so thick, look at it. Um, they do have this in the fruit smoothie smell as well, but I actually wanted to do the lavender tonight since I'm kind of trying to go into like self-care, relaxation, state of mind for my night routine. So after I take my bath, then I'll head into my bathroom to wash my face because I didn't do that in the bath, obviously. So this is the Elemis um, facial cleanser that I've been using. It's like a cleansing balm and it really helps get like everything off your face. So I'll use about a quarter size and rub that in on my dry face and then rinse it all off. It gets all the makeup off. I don't have to use like makeup removing wipes or anything. And then I'll go in with some um, toner just on my hands so that I don't waste it on a cotton ball and press that into the skin. I've still been using the agency, but it kind of like every other night. And then I'm just gonna switch that out today for like a little um, anti-inflammatory serum. This is the new Kapari moisturizer. Oh my gosh, it smells so amazing and it's so hydrating and moisturizing. And then just the number 12 from Lux Unfiltered little tanning oil drops for your face. I like these because they don't make me break out. And they also just allow you to get that kind of natural sun kiss glow without having to actually spend time in the sun. And I got my eyebrows done a couple weeks ago. And so I've been using castor oil just to help keep them hydrated because I did that lamination where they like brush them up. So this keeps them really hydrated and also can help them grow out a little bit, I guess. So giving it a try. And then this Osea, just an eye cream all over around the bottom of my eye, in the corners, near the crow's feet, and then obviously on my eyelid as well. Tonight I realized I spent so much time just relaxing in the bath that it got really late and I need to make dinner. So I'm gonna do a quick air fry dinner. We're gonna do burgers. We're doing the hot body meal plan right now um, as part of summer shape up. So. I'm gonna do a bison burger, we're gonna do some sweet potato fries, some asparagus, and just try to make it as quick as possible. So I normally do dinner and Ryan like works on things, but 
I'm gonna have to get him in here helping me because it's like already ate something that I wanna eat. Um, so he's gonna be in charge of chopping. He did all of this, made the fries, like sweet potato fries are our jam. We make them all the time. Um, and then I found these at Trader Joe's. They're these like smoky barbecue amino acids. So I'm gonna put that right in the bison and it gives it like a smoky barbecue taste, even though you're not actually barbecuing it outside, which is really great. So the sweet potatoes go in at 400 for about 15 minutes. I actually ended up putting them in at about 18, I think, just if you're gonna try to mimic the recipe. And then chopping up some onions to grill. I'm adding paprika to the bison as well. I really just want that like smoky barbecue just to come out like a ton and the paprika adds to that a lot. So we're gonna just cook the onions with a little bit of avocado oil on low and that'll help them get nice and grilled. But while that stuff's going, I'm gonna jump in and do some work. I try to find things to do at night that are like the fun things for me since I do have to still work, but like Pinterest, like that's enjoyable. I don't feel like stressed doing it at all. So trying to get some of those things done when I can in between prepping dinner. And then I'll just form it into four little patties, which is great because then we'll have leftovers for lunch. And Ryan actually has a bun, even though it's like buried under all of his greens, but I'm just gonna do my burger on a bed of lettuce. But for his, I'll plate with the burger, I'll put the grilled onions on. Obviously, the veggies are on the side there already. And then adding a little avocado actually to both of ours to get some more healthy fat. I put a pickle on the side of mine. I go like mustard pickle, that is me. Ryan thinks both of those things are disgusting. So we leave them off of his. And then we always sit on the floor and eat dinner. I know sometimes you guys are like, you're so weird, but like, we just love it. It's our jam. Like I love to sit on the floor. We'll watch a little show. Um, I have been obsessed with this GT's kombucha, California citrus flavor they came out with. I don't know if you guys have tried it yet. I put a recipe actually in the sweat starter for it, which is the free ebook you get with Summer Shape Up, but I like, I'm obsessed with it. Like I thought the only, like my go-to was always gonna be forever just the ginger aid, but I feel like this is my new favorite and it is like the one I go for every single day because it's so refreshing. So then we'll watch TV for like an hour and just like let our brains actually take a break. But tonight I'm gonna be making a little like sleepy time dessert. So. I do my slumber party every single night, either in milk or water, but since I'm on the hot body meal plan, I realize that I've been kind of slacking on getting enough protein in my day, so I'm adding protein to my slumber party treat at night. So I'm gonna pour some steamed water in first. Since I'm using the protein, I wanna make sure it doesn't get too thick, and with just like a bunch of cashew milk, it's gonna be really thick. So one scoop of chocolate protein, one scoop of Miss Congeniality to balance my mood, because I'm totally PMSing right now, and then a scoop of slumber party and I'll blend that all together and then I'll top it the rest of the way with my milk and it is so good like I can't even tell you it tastes like yummy hot chocolate but also I know I'm getting protein which has so many benefits for you if you have it before bed for muscle recovery relaxation better sleep and then I'll obviously my slumber party in there too I make that about 30 minutes before I'm ready to actually fall asleep and I've been trying to be very mindful and like regimented about going to bed at the same time every night because that definitely helps as well. So I'll light my candle, put on some oils, and then this is this little like core meditation ball Ryan got me I think for Christmas and it actually like vibrates and has sensations on your hand to help you focus while you meditate like so you don't get too distracted. I'll do that for about five or 10 minutes and then I'll usually listen to an audiobook for about 15 or 20 more minutes while I'm sipping my sleepy time drink. And that just really allows me to like fully relax and prep for bed. And once I'm feeling nice and sleepy, ready for night night, then I'll go like floss my teeth. I'm like a great flosser, you guys. I floss every single day. Ryan doesn't always floss every single day. He never has cavities. I have cavities all the time. It's not fair, I don't get it. Um, and then I'll do my full two minutes of brushing. I usually get bored though, so I'll end up stretching. And my legs have been so sore from the workouts, mostly my butt really, but trying to stretch it out, brush it up. This is a lip repair from Bosha I've been using for like two years now, and it helps my lips so much. You guys know I always talk about my dry lips. Like it is amazing and really just giving me like all I need to feel like they're like hydrated again. Then I'll start to crawl into bed after I have all of that done, blow the candle out, make sure my alarm is set, hit the lights, and get the best night's sleep ever. 
I hope you guys like watching my night routine. If you did, hit the thumbs up, comment down below, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I have new videos for you every week. 